Hi there, Ian here, and today I've got a Photoshop tutorial for you. Um, I was asked to make a tutorial on how I made stars in Photoshop without the use of any uh, stock images or images I found online. Uh, everything's made purely within Photoshop itself, and it's a very simple and quick technique to do. Um, and so we'll just jump in here. So I've got this basic scene in Photoshop, uh, just sort of a few planets, um, and it looks a bit dull in the background because there's just nothing there. It doesn't look very realistic because in reality there would be stars, and so what we're going to do is put them in ourselves. So the first thing you want to do is make a new layer and use the fill tool, um, which is this one here, the bucket or you can press G on the keyboard and just fill it in black and then you want to go to filter noise and add noise now as you can see we have um, the noise in the background here we can zoom in you want to make sure monochromatic is checked otherwise you get uh, red, green and blue uh, specs as well and that's not what you want the stars aren't really anything but white and so we want to make sure it's like that uh, you can go for either uniform or Gaussian uh, distribution but I find Gaussian always works better and you want the amount on anything you like really if you go too far however it doesn't look as good so you want to keep this low I'm gonna go for about 15 and we'll just click OK. So now we have millions and millions of stars in the background, but this doesn't look very good. Let's get rid of that black box there. Uh, it doesn't look very realistic because there's just far too many, so we need to change this uh, using the levels. So either press Command L on the keyboard, or if you wish, you can go to Image adjustments and levels making sure you have your star level selected now in here you want to bring these sliders closer together and so just bring the right one um, over to um, where this curve kind of dies out and bring the left one over to it as well and as you can see using the middle one you can have very few stars or dot the sky with some more and this is pretty much it um, you can play about with this as much as you want um, you could have a few more and a bit more diversity if you bring it over to the left a bit uh, but just make sure you don't go too crazy um, the further you go over to the left hand side the more depth the image will have um, but with that depth you'll get a lot more stars and you might not want that. Don't go too crazily co close um, to either of the arrows either otherwise it won't work well you'll just get single specs and you won't have the idea of some being lighter than others and it kind of not looking great at all. Uh, but this is pretty much it that's all you have to do you might want to change the opacity down to about 50 as well just so they not so they don't stand out as much and do this as much as you want you could mask some so they're in front of the planet uh, it's very simple and as you can see it looks uh, pretty good we just turn it off that's how we started and this is what we have now just makes it look that little bit more realistic and it is very simple to do as you can see this has only been about five minutes and once you know how to do it it will take you no more than 30 seconds so just have fun with this experiment around use it in backgrounds or anything you want and just have fun really uh, this has been Ian and I hope you've enjoyed the video